Hey, what's up guys? Brandon Hansen here. I'm here today to explain 10 years later and what happened in my life. On October 11th, 2008, I was skateboarding this park here at Lake Delton, Wisconsin, known as the Dreamland Skate Park. And basically what happened is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the transfer I did that cost me the price. So what happened is, I'll explain to you first. What I was doing is I was transferring the big bowl into the small bowl when I was just doing a melon grab. And what happened is I kicked my board out and I landed back on it by accident. So what happened is as soon as I kicked it out, my feet decided to come back on my board. I fell so hard in the back of my head and smoked it really hard. Now I do advise, I was not wearing a helmet because I was having a really good day skateboarding in Madison, Wisconsin earlier in the day on the streets with my fellow friend Dave Racky. And then thought I'd close it out here at Lake Delton, Wisconsin Skate Park. So before I show you, let me just point out that things can be very delicate and very fragile in life and things can happen when you least expect it. So 10 years ago today, on October 11th, 2018, I want to show you how I've come in skateboarding if you have not seen my other YouTube videos and what I'm about to do today to celebrate 10 years later in my skateboarding life after a blood-induced coma. So like I said, what happened to me was when I was trying to do the transfer, I'm going to dedicate 10 years later to show it doesn't hold me back or scare me. It can show that anything can possibly happen to you when you least expect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the melon grab transfer across the gap that I got pretty much the injury 10 years ago that I still love doing this day. So just to show anybody can be scared of anything, but for sure with no doubt, you can still make anything possible if you set your mind to it. So again, 10 years later, October 11, 2018 today. And when I first did it and then I paid the price, was on October 11, 2008. So this one's for all you guys, as I'll explain more after I do it. So here it goes. So there was my melon grab transfer. I want to show you 10 years later after what caused my brain injury. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how it played out when I was actually trying and attempting it to lead to my blood induced coma and knock me out. So hopefully that melon grab was good enough for you. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the transfer of how it happened and what I did to miss it. So. Basically right here, this is pool coping, but obviously this isn't the original one, this is the newer one, but the older one stuck out about an inch further out before they replaced it and made it a more smoother, efficient one, so that's what makes this transfer easier now, fortunately. But back when it was the old one, what would happen is, as soon as you hit it, you get bouncing out of it like a Pop-Tart style, so you lift it up and you get all like this. But with the new one, it's easier to transfer, but what happened was, just as I was showing you, as soon as I lift it up, my board started drifting sideways. That's when I made an attempt to catch it. And when I did that, I kicked it out, right? And at that rate, what happened was, it didn't get away fast enough when I kicked it out. So what happened is my feet decided to come back on my board. And what happened was, after trying to stick to commit it, I smoked the back of my head like this. At first, it did hurt for a little bit, but I shook it off. And then I was told, at that point, I got up and tried it again, in which I remember as I kept trying and trying. But what I was told after I knocked myself out, that's when I don't remember anything. So what happened is, I just felt like I was trying it over and over. And then what happened was, I just blacked out from what I was told after trying to set up for it again. Because anybody who knows me in skateboarding can for sure tell you that I don't give up no matter what happens if I have the chance or the choice. So pretty much, just again, what happened was, as soon as I launch off, my board goes straight up, tried catching it, but it didn't feel, feel right. So I kicked it out and it came back under my feet and I smoked the back of my head on the concrete on the side. And then as a result, I was told it was the only seizure I ever had in my life. And I was bleeding out of my ears and completely blacked out. So I was completely unconscious. And fortunately with the people that were there, they helped dial 911 for me to give me a chance to live. So fortunately, I don't know if you can see in the background or not, there goes a fire truck right now as we speak. So fortunately they showed up pretty quick Whether well, it was ambulances, fire trucks, police cars, or whatever the case was to save my life. So for all those who are on October 11th, 2008 being that Saturday, 
I thank you for saving my life so I have the chance to go ahead and keep skateboarding and be able to work full time, support myself, and not need any disability, and go and beyond, go above and beyond in my ability. So, hopefully, it gives a good enough detail to how I survived 10 years later after a near-death experience with skateboarding, and be able to still do it, function, and proper. So, what's next is I'll tell you what kind of uh, side effects and struggles I have in my everyday life to be able to still function right. So, here it goes. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a pretty good insight to how my side effects were after having my blood induced coma 10 years ago on Saturday, October 11, 2008. Basically, a couple things I'll show you, just like on my list I have as an image. Basically, my aftermath is I broke my temporal bone, so what happened is I can't open my jaws far anymore, so it's gonna be a problem whenever we have to get my wisdom to get out. I have short-term memory loss and have halfway hearing, so anything that goes out of my left ear, I can't hear anymore, so all has to go to the right ear, so that's why I have a difficulty and understanding what people are saying or hearing, as well as my speech skills. So basically, 10 years later, things have been a struggle, but in the end, I can still pull it off and be successful in what I do. So no matter what happens in life, no matter what slows you down, you can always succeed and strive with your strength. So don't give up on anything, even if people give you negative comments or criticism. All right, guys, I just want to make a side note real quick. Whenever you're skateboarding, please stay within your limits, and please make sure that you do it wearing the proper protective gear just in case something doesn't feel right, whether it's your elbow pad and knee pads, wrist guards, shin guards, whatever the case may be, but most importantly a helmet. So whenever you're going up against something that's out of the ordinary in your normal skateboarding every day, please make sure you're wearing the proper safety gear and protection so that we can keep doing what you do. For me, I had a lot of miracles and blessings from both my family, friends, and other loved ones, as well as the Spirit above in heaven with Jesus Christ and God to be able to do what I do these days. So again, 10 years later, surviving what I do, and my advice is to anyone who's watching this, please stay within your limits and never bite off more than you can chew as the old saying goes.